Hi, I'm Linda. I'm a patient at Washington. And I'm happy to be where I am right now with no pain and able to say that the wound clinic helped me with that progress. Washington Hospital Wound Clinic is the reason that my leg recuperated. If it wasn't for the center, really, I, I really thought I was gonna lose my leg. Looks good. So we'll plan on getting you in and get started with treatment. Okay. Linda's a very special patient. She's been dealing with a very severe type of uh, disease called hydridinitis, which affects different types of glands in the body and results in chronic wounds. It was very painful. It was very hard to function some days without having to pop at least four or five Tylenols during the day. I had the surgery at Washington Hospital and then after rehab, I went to Dr. Killaroo, the wound clinic, and decided I was a good candidate for the hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment is an adjunct modality that we use to help wounds heal. And basically what we do is we place the patient in a chamber and we increase the pressure in the chamber to twice what is normally present in room air. And we also give 100% oxygen as opposed to room air oxygen. So the patient is getting 10 times the amount of oxygen that they normally would. It heals wounds that otherwise would not heal or it heals them faster than they otherwise would heal. To see the progress of the hyperbaric plus their treatment at the wound clinic was helping my wound heal. And I was very happy because I wasn't having a lot of pain. Wounds that she had for five, 10 years we were able to get healed within a six month period. Now I feel like I'm back on my feet and I can do pretty much everything I used to do. A chronic wound, by definition, is a wound that's been present for more than six weeks. But in my mind, any wound that has the potential to not heal in a timely fashion because of associated comorbidities would be considered a chronic wound. The difference between an active wound and a chronic wound is that an active wound, for example, you fall, you scrape, your wound will heal. A chronic wound is a wound that will not heal if it doesn't heal within three months, that's a chronic wound. For patients with comorbidity like diabetes, kidney failures, those are the patients take longer to heal. We try to figure out what is preventing the wound from healing properly. And then we work on addressing each of these problems so that we can tackle the diabetes, tackle the infection, tackle the circulation, and address each of those components to get the wounds to heal in a timely manner. We're lucky that we have a representation from multiple specialties in our wound clinic. We have plastic surgery, multiple vascular surgeon, infectious disease, we have podiatrists, primary care doctors. Combining the expertise of those specialists together to help heal these complex wounds is really a benefit. We meet monthly and present the difficult cases, the ones that are not making progress, and, and get input from all those different specialties. It was a long time coming. Uh, I had the pressure sore like people in wheelchairs tend to get. I had the wound for up to two years and my doctor finally uh, referred me to uh, the wound clinic and I was lucky enough to get Dr. Hershey. People who are still remaining in a wheelchair or bed bound have a very difficult time healing those wounds and so his efforts were really remarkable that he was able to, to heal these wounds. Much of that credit goes to his family and his husband. They really helped him pull through that. Well, he was there in bed almost two months, almost three months actually. My job was to make sure that he laid on his side the entire time and when that side got tired, I would turn him to the other side and that's literally how we spend most of the time. I kind of thought that it was going to be with me for the rest of my life, but everything's perfectly healed. We get to experience life, and the fact that he can finally sit correctly without any pain, without any discomfort, without any hesitation as to whether or not he's going to get back to having another pressure sore in the same spot, it's been a life-changing for us. I would say any time that uh, you have a wound that uh, you're frustrated with and isn't healing in the amount of time that you think would be appropriate, or the primary doctor seems to be having difficulty trying to figure out exactly the reason why this is healing, any time like that would be a good time to come to the wound care center. 
Hello, Jose. How are you doing? How are you? Great. You look great. I had a bad fall. I landed on my knee, left knee on the cement. I was in the hospital about three or four days. Then after that, I was released, and I started seeing Dr. Body. He had a big open wound to his knee in addition to a large hematoma under the knee. Now the problem was this amount of blood was essentially the size of a small football. Now once we removed that, there was a large area uh, where he didn't have any skin because the blood clot had kind of pushed everything out of the way. And now we have to close this wound. So one of the other therapies we use here is something called a wound vac. Uh, VAC stands for Vacuum Assisted Closure. And uh, over the course of four months, we were able to close this large skin defect. His pre-existing diabetes was contributing to why this wound wasn't healing, and he is one of our success stories. I'm able to walk. I really thought they were going to amputate my leg. I really did. But Dr. Body ensured me that I would not. He goes, I'm going to do everything, but you're not going to lose your leg. <laughs> Thank goodness everything worked out really, real well. To learn more about wound healing, visit BayAreaHealthierTogether.com.